Greetings everyone, Game Master Cody here again. This is part 10 of our naval challenge. And I did a little bit of rearranging off screen. I'm going to get more cargo ships because I need them. But I'm also going to get an amphitheater because I don't want to... I don't want to be stuck without a great rider slot. And... Uh, go ahead and tech up for uh, machinery so I can get some longbowmen for better defense. Armories, and as soon as I get armories we are going straight for navigation. Ships of the line, and people will be sad. That That is all I can say. People will be sad. I'm going to become a massive warmonger at that point. In fact, I'm going to come kick Japan in the teeth. But I need my iron up first, which is why I'm sending workers over here to deal with ivory, iron, iron, more stuff, good stuff. And I'm keeping Japan away. With this one little trireme, he can't do anything about uh, I think that's all for this turn, because I'm about to have a harbor, which means better better trade routes for more money, which is good, because we really need money. Yes, it's the early, the early implements of the game makes it harder to get gold, because that's just how Brave New World works. It's not that bad, but like, it kind of sucks, because you can't do what you like what I used to be able to do. Um, hello, Carthage. Do you have anything planned? If you do, I would advise against it. I'm very powerful. Anyway. Um, I should probably have something ready. Which is what I'm going to have my boat over here for. Probably need to make another Gallius, actually. And do I have more better trade routes? Yes. Now, oh, I can make it all the way to Amsterdam for 18 gold. Wow. Yeah, that's going to be amazing. So that's really good. Okay. Let's go back and heal just in case. I do not want to risk losing my experienced Gallius because it's very strong. And then I can get uh, factories. Oh, come on. Expand to the chocolate, please. As soon as I expand to the chocolates. Can you upgrade? You can. Ah, whatever. I'll upgrade to a pikeman. Let's see. Now let's do this the easy route. You wait there. Yeah, I can actually make it all the way to was it Amsterdam? Yeah, that's really good. Amsterdam for 18 gold. Of course, I do need to increase my navy so I don't look like an easy target. Because she has something planned over here. That's right, your cargo ships can pass through. But you can't. Ha ha. Cindy wants a trade route. Well, Cindy's going to have to wait. I want more money and science. If I can get a trade route with uh, Amsterdam, I'm going to take it because that's almost 20. And I now have a uh, capital, so I get more money per turn. It's not a lot, it's only four. Oh, we have a, s a swordsman coming. Which I'm not too worried about, so. Alright, you heal up. You wait there. Cargo ship. Where was this one going? It was going to Wellington. Well, I want this one with Amsterdam instead. There we go, now we're getting somewhere with money. Getting good gold now. 23. I actually have to defend it better now because. Well, Amsterdam, it goes, can it go all the way around? It can go all the way around. I need to make sure that's dealt with. So I'm actually going to go do that. Well, I actually cannot. That is unfortunate. Unless I let him have open. Unless I give him open borders and he gives me open borders. Which I don't want. So, okay. Yeah, we got universities. 
signaled, ready to go. Just wait for this barbarian to come over here so I can knock him out. Yes, the enemy is near, which means I can fire on the enemy. Have a rotten day. I'm not finished yet. Have a rotten day. Which kind of sucks, since I can't actually go improve the ivory yet. But I'll wait here it's done. Okay, that's a spearman. Whatever. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Trireme, trireme, trireme. Okay. I have a trireme I can deal with now. I think I'll leave that here. Or should I deal with it? Yeah, let's let this thing heal up, because I can go kill that city-state unit and get another naval unit destroyed. Finally. Yeah, it goes through here, so Biblos won't be able to mess with it. I'm at the bottom of the list. Oh well. I need another Gallius. If I can get another Gallius, at least two or three to ready before I upgrade them to ships of the line, that'll be good. Ah, it ran inside. Get out of here. I probably should have killed it with my archer. But I can at least get ivory going now. Just wait here for now. Now that I have that good trade route going, at least I can make stronger agreements. Just keep him here for now. I will trade him out in a second. Just got to keep Japan from getting any dumb ideas. Alright, more silk I can trade. That's good. If I can trade it from the luxury with, like, Command Man, that'd be great. <laughs> Um, offer me a luxury, then we'll talk. I need happiness. No, I have iron. Pieces of yeah, see, I would, I would hit, I would, I would hit the boat, but then I would lose strength. So, <sighs> hey, come here, Maya. You got stuff? Oh, hang on. What are they doing? He's building the Grand Temple, but he has workshops. Well, that kind of makes sense. And he's building pikemen. He's, he's preparing for an attack. It's pretty clear, but hey, let's let's trade. Ah, you don't have anything to trade? Rats. Oh. And he doesn't want silk anyway. Ah. Uh, you have no money. What's this guy have? Wederom gegroet. A lot of gold. Do you have anything good? Dumb. You have eight, eight gold per turn. I may go with that. I mean, I really want the happiness. Ooh. 
I don't really want to trade with him because I'm going to declare war on him soon. Spoiler. <laughs> <coughs> ah, hate this cough. Do you have anything else you'd like? No, you have five gold per turn, but a thousand gold, so. Alright, I'll take the seven gold for now. Dumb. Because I'm about to get a. Uh, because I'm about to, to gain ivory in a little bit, so I'll get some happiness back. I'll be building a university pretty soon. Cargo ship. I think I want the university before the amphitheater. Well, if I can get enough money, I can actually just buy this stuff because. I see trade routes with like 18 gold at this point in the game is really strong. Alright, we have built what we needed to build. I kind of want the deer tiles. Or do I want to just grow my city more? What if I did 13 turns? Let's, eh, let's keep it on there. Wait, can I reach? I cannot reach the cattle with that, so let's actually come improve the cattle. Get ourselves a camp. Alright, we have this unit that's back in action. So I have, to be, I have to be friendly with uh, Netherlands for a while, which I can, I can manage that. He'll be one of the last people I take out. Because he's a good trading partner for gold. If I took Biblos, I could build Machu Picchu. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, good. I can go here and actually attack the city or attack the boat as soon as it decides to step up and do something. You wait there. You're doing fine. I'll just wait here with my... Gallius, London, York. York's still not. York's not going to be that tall of a pop city, which is fine. I just like the King Solomon's Mine because it gives great production when you really need it. Yeah, there's like not a lot of growth potential around here. It's a bunch of plains. Which, that's how the game works. My capital is going to be really strong if I can get enough uh, growth to it. Because it has a good uh, production tile, so I'll be able to produce units very fast. I just need more gold. Don't declare war. Yeah, we can be friends. Alright, Japan's trying something, but they can't get their settler through, so whatever. I'll laugh at them. And have composite bowmen at least around each city, which will make mincemeat of these units. Ah, yes, perfect. Okay. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, that hits. I hit very hard. That's right, keep working. I need more power. You just wait there. Get another cargo ship with a lot of gold, and I'll probably actually pump out another Gallius. No, I'll just buy a Gallius. I need to pump out buildings. Am I playing a book? Yeah, I'll be friends with you. I need friends for now. See, he's he's still trying it. So, this will have to wait. Yeah, he he still can't do anything. 
He can try and go through here, but he's not going to go anywhere. Because all I have to do is... Ooh, triremes. Okay. Um, this is actually a problem. Because this will destroy my units. So... And that should be number five. And it is. We have number five destroyed. Another cargo ship. To Japan. Uh, I don't really want to go to Japan, but it'll have to work for now. Let me get money. You're not getting through. You could just wait. What am I doing? There, problem solved. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's problem solved. He's trying to get over here. He can't now because I've blocked everything up. He's got two triremes, but he's a cargo ship, so he would lose cargo ships and trade with me. He probably finds that worth it. I'll come heal up my boat anyway. Let's get a pasture so we can get more production. Hey, Mike. Nah. Let's see. Let me only I could buy this tile. So if he, if he sit, founds a city here, I'm just going to declare war and take it. And burn it, because that would be a bad city. Because it would take my chocolate. Actually, need to come and deal with these uh, barbarians. Just waiting for you, Japan. Don't be stupid. It's not worth it. This is actually long enough for this part. This is Game Master Cody signing out, and I will see you all next time.